Hey Joey students, welcome back again from the online class of uh, Koli Maho Mahavid Daloy. This is Shubhendra Vikashaka Shubho, a lecturer in English. Hope you are well, you are passing a very lovely time, I think, your students. Today I will talk uh, about uh, an interesting poem uh, for ACSC first year students. Uh, I died for beauty by Emily Dickinson. It's a fantastic poem. It is an allegorical work that depicts someone who died for beauty interacting briefly with someone who died for truth. Often in an allegory, abstract ideas are given a physical form as they were in Dickinson's poem. Dear students, you know that this poem uh, is an allegorical poem. Allegory is a literary term, so you have to know the definition of allegory. This literary term is uh, very, very important uh, for your university admission. Uh, so allegory is a story poem or picture that uh, can be interpreted to reveal a hidden meaning, typically a moral or political one. A story or poem or picture that can be interpreted or that can be explained to reveal or to express a hidden meaning. So this poem is allegorical because it has a hidden meaning. It has a very subtle meaning. The poem equates the two as equally noble martyrs whose names are eventually covered with moss as if to indicate that in the meaning. What one ties for is unimportant. It is a seemingly simple and straightforward poem that reveals deeper meaning with analysis. Just look at the poem. I died for beauty but was scarce as a, as a stage in the tomb when one who tied for shoes was laying in an adjoining room. It is a seemingly simple and straightforward poem that reveals a deeper meaning with analysis. From these four lines, this is the first instance of this poem, dear students. Hope you have got the point. Now, one is speaking that I died for beauty but was scared as a sister. When one who died for truth was blamed in an adjoining. Ami Shondorjir Jono Maragia Silam. That was his tears. In the cook calm silo. Shamatite Shamon Nito. When one who died for truth was lame in an adjoining room. যখন সত্যের জন্য মারা গিয়েছিল তাকে লাইন দেয়া হয়েছিল পাশের ঘরে কেট দা পিকচার জাস্ট এখানে দুজন তার কবরে শুয়ে আছে পাশাপাশি হ্যাঁ সেটাই এখানে এই ছবি দেখে তোমরা বুঝতে পারবে আসলে এই কবিতাতে কি বলতে চাচ্ছে আই ডাইড ফর বিউটি বাট ওয়াজ ইজ কেয়ারস অ্যাজ আ স্টেট ইন দ্য টম when one who died for truth was laying in an adjoining room. So, Pashapashi due to room, due to tomb, but due to shamadhite, due to Pashapashi shaito ase. They questioned softly why I skipped. 
for beauty I replied and I put truth that two are one we brethren are he said Tini Mridu Bhave Dikash for Sen Kano Ami Berthohoi for beauty I reply Ami Tokolam Shondo Jason Ebong Ami Shot Terjon The two are one Dujon Ag We brother are his faith Amra Bhai Rafin So এখানে আমরা পরিষ্কার দেখতে পাচ্ছি যে একজন সত্যের জন্য মারা গিয়েছে এবং একজন সৌন্দর্যের জন্য মারা গিয়েছে এখানে আমরা জন কিটস এর সেই ওড অন এ গ্রেশিয়ার নার্ন কবিতাতে সেখানে আমরা দেখেছি যে বিউটি ইজ টু চুজ বিউটি এটাই আসলে এই কবিতার একটা পয়েন্ট একটা ইম্পর্টেন্ট পয়েন্ট যে বিউটি এন্ড ট্রুথ এই দুটো খুবই ইন্টাররিলেটেড ওয়ার্ড এখানে আমরা সেই জিনিসটাই দেখতে পেয়েছি আসলে দিস এলিগোরিক্যাল ডেপ ফ্যান্টাসি রেকলস কিটস বিউটিস ট্রুথ টু বিউটি ফ্রম ওড অন গ্রেশিয়ান এন্ড বাট ইটস ম্যানার অফ প্রেজেন্টেশন বিলংস ইউনিকলি টু ডিকেনসন সো ডিকেনসন ইজ ইউনিক ইন দিস শর্ট লিরিক ডিকেনসন ম্যানেজেস টু ইনক্লুড এ সেন্স অফ ফিজিক্যাল ডেপ দ্য হাই আইডিয়ালিজম অফ মার্টারডম a certain kind of romantic yearning combined with uh, longing for platonic companionship and her uh, optimism about the afterlife with the barely sublimated terror about the fact of death it would be horrible to lie in the cemetery having a conversation through the walls of time as the poem progresses the high idealism and yearning for Companionship gradually gave way to mute, cold days as the moles quips of the speaker's corpse and how hands stone of deteriorating vocal capacity to speak. The ultimate effect of this poem is to show that every aspect of human life, ideals, human feelings, identity itself is erased by death. by making the you ratio gradual something to be adjusted to in the tom and by portraying a speaker who is untroubled by her own grim state in this poem dickinson has wonderfully creates a sense that is by terms grotesque and compelling frightening and comforting it is one of her most singular statements about death and like so many of Dickinson's poems it has no parallels in the work of any other writer so I'm right a unique Kovita a honey for lam Emily Dickinson sir to a con a Kovita summary dear students number you can take a screenshot Hmm. I have uh, written here a very simple uh, summary of this poem. I have used very, very easy and uh, simple uh, sentences uh, for better understanding of the students. There were lots of students uh, who were poor, especially in the rural areas of Bangladesh. Uh, for uh, the betterment of that students, uh, I have Uh, written uh, this summary you can edit or you can add uh, any other sentences uh, and uh, you can send me I will uh, try to I will try to make a final of your uh, summary okay your students uh, summary uh, uh, summary In this poem, the poet highlights the two important elements of our life, truth and beauty. These two elements are interrelated. One becomes meaningless without other. He also says that truth and beauty lie in the same place, 
the final view of the fight is that what is true is the beauty तो हम लोग देखते पास चीज़ एक को भी था एक को भी हाइलाइट्स करें से दो तो गुरुत्वपूर्ण उपादान एक तो हमसे ट्रूथ एवं एक तो ब्यूटी का शोप पे एक तो शंदर जो ए दो तो उपादान इंटररिलेटेड एक या ऑपोरेश शायद शंपोर की तो वन बिकम्स मीनिंगलेस एक तो और तो हिन होए पड़े विदाउट आधार और नोटा this is the final view, eh? the final view of the poet. This is the final view of 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 the final Study at home, keep safe, <laughs> stay at home, uh, try to uh, try to uh, look after your own health and try to ensure others' health. Uh, don't forget late uh, without uh, any emergency. Stay home, uh, dear students. Once again, I will be available with another important classes. Okay, hope for the best.